Yeah, so in general, all of the deal start conditions for the three commas bots, they are all triggered on candle close. So that means for the current candle that you can see on the chart that's being created at the moment, we are looking at the last value from the previous candle. Mm -hmm. So at the moment we're on a red candle with the charts, but the previous candle to it is a green one. And so if we, if your bot was triggered from the, the RSI signal, it would be looking at the, the red candle or that. Yes. So for example, here we are in the four hour chart and we are using RSI 14 and it's calculating using the close. So this is something that is currently supported on three commas. And well, the, I think the source, mm -hmm. if we, if I could just take control for 30 seconds, it's easier to explain it when we're on the, the latest candle, because you can see this candle is still being drawn. In fact, we'll go down to one minute so we can actually see these candles moving in real time. Mm -hmm. So th this candle is not formed yet. We don't know what position the indicator will be in or what value it is going to be in when it does eventually close. So when you're triggering a bot deal, we want to know that the RSI was at that level prior to the signal being generated to start a new bot trade. Um, so we can see this candle was green a minute ago. It's now red. So we can't take the live data from the candles because if this candle now moves all the way down quite a quite a bit, it will trigger the RSI. And then if price recovers before the candle closes, the signal will have been triggered and started a bot deal. But when you look back later, you'll be saying, well, why did the bot start the deal on that candle? And it's because at that point in time, when the trade started, the, the value for the RSI was at the value you had set in the bot, but then it reversed because the candle hadn't closed. So it's very important that we, we actually take the, the signal from the previously closed candle because we know the RSI value is set in stone at that point and it can't, can't change because it's part of the historical data.